Why would I look like a clown? I'm sorry. People, and you're taking, people don't care if they look they, like clowns. I, I, I mean, that is so anathema to me. I can't even tell you. I, I would I would not be able to sleep. They go, put up a picture, or put up a, a video of a drag queen twerking in front of a child and then do the whole, oh my God. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to look like a, a stupid person if I do. And that doesn't mean you can't react to a video, but to do the whole, you know, expression and the whole outrage. I would feel like I, I am a puppeteer and some, someone is like pulling the strings behind me and I have this this theatrical reaction. It's stupid. Also, I really endeavor in my role in public life, I want to elevate my own intellect and character and other people's intellect and character and doing these stupid reaction videos where we're, you know, expressing outrage. I don't think that achieves that. And also, you know, there are people who say that, you know, they, they advise me, they go, oh, you should, you should just do more, uh, your, your comments on something, uh, you know, post two times a day, your reaction to a news story. You know what my response is? Hmm. What if I don't have a reaction? Or what if what I have to say isn't contributing anything? I'm not just going to post, you know, let's say Trump, some, something happens with Trump. I'm not just going to post and give some stupid comment that everybody else is giving just to get my face in front of people. And you know what? I acknowledge it's probably harmed me. But it goes back to that dignity issue. I want people to associate me with someone who is serious, who is thoughtful. And when I open my mouth, it's because I actually have something good to say. I know it. I knew it, and I assumed it. Uh, I, I, you, did I ever tell you about my anti-cheating campaign in high school? Yeah, you have. And did I, I, I was on the I, honor council at Harvard and at my high school too. I believe that. So interesting, by the way, boy. Forgive me. I wish I could talk about. I wish you could. I wish I could uh, talk about the stuff that yeah. people would pull. <laughs> you can't. No. Even without names. Um. Think that's about a it. good question. Yeah, I don't know why not. So did I ever tell you, I I don't think I did, but I don't even think I've ever mentioned this in public. Not that I've hidden it, but again, it doesn't come out unless you're in a dialogue. So I started an anti-cheating on test campaign in high school. By the way, it had a very big impact on me. You know how? Why? This I've never told you either. I was elected the the president of the graduating class. So we were four classes. So I was, the four classes, their vote, they vote together for the president of the whole graduating class. I was, I was elected. And I remember thinking, that's really interesting. They did not resent me for my anti-cheating campaign. And that's when I, I realized something very important about myself. I could... I could, in effect, try to improve people ethically and not be resented for it. 